Hey y'all, it's Spiritual Life Coach 43 and I'm here to give you the month of August year 2022 reading for the zodiac sign of Scorpio. If you guys are new to my channel, welcome and blessings. Come right on in and join us. If you are a returning viewer, watcher, and or a subscriber, you guys rock. You're awesome and amazing. I'm sending you guys prayers, blessings, success, love, healing, all that good stuff. You guys are so awesome and you guys are so amazing and I appreciate your energy. You guys come back time and time again. Scorpios, you guys are awesome. And if you guys are cross watchers, I'm sending you guys prayers, blessings, and healing to you guys as well and to all of us, okay? Please remember that when it comes to tarot and oracle cards, this is all about the energy and the messages. Please take what resonates. Leave anything that does not. Never ever force a reading. What's for you is for you. What's not is not. Always go to our Heavenly Father, God, and your beautiful, wonderful, amazing spiritual teams. Listen to your intuition at all times to make the best choices and decisions possible for your life. Please continue to like, share, subscribe, and comment. You guys are wonderful about keeping my channel going and growing. Hope you guys can see my thumb. Um, and um, if you guys would like to donate, there is the heart shape super thanks. And also in the description box, I have PayPal and a PO box if you guys want to send me cool stuff. Thank you guys in advance. And I just want to say you guys came in number one with the most views for the month of July. So you guys get to go first. Like I said, you guys are fantastic. You guys rock. And I just want to say you guys make me happy. You guys keep me smiling. I just want to say thank you, Scorpio. So I used to do more messages. Um, if you came in first, second, or third, I don't know if I'm going to do a bonus reading for first, second, and third for you guys. I'm not going to do extra messages in this reading, but I'm going to do something for you guys um, coming up. So probably after I finish all these readings. So be on the lookout for that. All right, everything has been prayed and meditated on. I do not plan to read anything in reverse. All the decks that I am using are listed in the description box below. Let's jump into your August reading, Scorpio. So this deck is actually by the Midnight Oracle Shop. So, and I have a few, I believe, of her decks. This is for Scorpio. Please, Spirit, come through as you always do. For Scorpio, Spirit, for Scorpio. All right, you guys have two messages that came out. So... You guys have act and keep going. Let's start with act. Act says take one inspired action or practical action step today. Not sure? Choose any direction. Just get moving. Your affirmation is I move toward my goal with faith and courage. So be strong. Be brave. You are mighty. You can get it done. And look here. Keep going. It says move ahead one step at a time, even if you can't see the whole path. New doors will open as you go. Enjoy the journey. Your affirmation is, I am always where I need to be. Absolutely. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. All right, so it's time to take action. Spirit wants you to get up, take a new step today. Just choose. Pray and choose, okay? Go with the flow. Go where spirit leads you. All right? All right, Scorpio, good opening. Let's get a, the formation of Star of the Sea. This is by the Intuit Oracle deck. I love this deck by Kim Aria. And everything's been prayed and meditated on as stated. Please spare come through as you always do for the zodiac sign of Scorpio for the month of August, year 2022. The first card represents you. The second card represents the change that you guys will see happening next. The third card represents what is going to trigger this change to happen next. The fourth card represents the action or guidance that you guys can take from spirit. Of course, as you choose, exercise your free will. The fifth card represents what's happening with family members, co-workers, neighbors, people around you could be um, relatives, near or far, siblings, parents, whoever that you know. It could also be you taking how it resonates. The sixth card is the outcome card. We'll see what's going on there. And I will start with the bottom of the deck as it represents the overall energy. You guys have Rider. I love it. So you guys are being urged by spirit Scorpio with angel number one and the nine of cups here. So, and I just want to remind you guys, any angel numbers that you guys hear or see, please feel free to look them up to get more clarification from your beautiful, awesome, amazing angels. These messages are only going to benefit you and your life further. So, um, just a quick Google search away would be beneficial, but you guys have one. So something is happening in your life. You guys are being urged to take action, to move forward, get things going, be the writer, okay? And with Nine of Cups being here, this is all about like 
a wish being fulfilled. So something beautiful, magical, and amazing coming in that's going to make you guys super duper happy. So I'm loving this energy because this is about movement. So messages could be coming in fast. Make sure that you guys check your social medias, check your emails, check your messages, and make a wish. You know, ask spirit for something. Just know that your prayers will be heard. They will be answered. So something that you guys want is coming in, a delivery. So maybe you guys are waiting for a special package or waiting to hear back from somebody in regards to an opportunity, a job or something like that. But this is a magical card. So your life is about to flourish. Some of you guys could be going out of town to travel or just driving, doing a little um, getaway. But this is about going full speed ahead. So making progress in life. This is the overall energy. So you guys have good fortune. You guys are manifesting. So... You know, friendships should be better. You guys will have more support in your life, focusing on projects at this time, things like this. So socializing, entertaining, visitors, people want to see you. So this is about good news. So people want to be around you. They want to hear from you. So that's good. I love this energy and it's coming in fast with the writer being here. Love it. Love it. Love it. Okay. What's representing you, Scorpio? You guys have the snake. Wow. Seven. So this is uh, Queen of Wands energy. So you guys could be dealing with a queen of wands. We are in a time of reaping. So a lot of people are reaping really bad karma for being deceptive. It's interesting because I felt the snake energy, Lord, right before I did your energy, right before I, meaning I did your energy before I, um, I meditate and I, sh I shuffle over all the cards heavily for each and every zodiac, each and every person, always when I do readings, each and every sign always. And, um, I did feel um, there's deceptive energy around you guys, but I feel like you guys know who this is or they definitely will be outed. They will be exposed, but I feel like these people are receiving karma. So you guys may hear about somebody going to jail or somebody, you know, getting their karma, reaping what they have sown because they did you dirty and betrayed you and did you wrong. You know, somebody was truly toxic. They may have went ghost and gave you the silent treatment. This person could have been really attractive, you know, like a sexy vixen, but this person was like a sexy devil you know, a, a devil in disguise, him or her. And um, they were very counterproductive. This person was not getting things done in life. They would love, they were very drawn to lust, very lust driven is what I'm getting. And very highly, overly um, sexual, overly. You know, they use sex as a weapon or sex to get what they want. They use their looks and their ways. And um, they had a very sly and sneaky way about them. And at this time, you know, these snakes are coming to the forefront. They're coming out. They're being forced out of hiding so that they can go to jail, so that they can be in spiritual jail, so that they can be in poverty. So you will get your justice from this snake. Okay. Take it how it resonates. I feel like a lot of you were betrayed. So there's a snake in your midst. So keep your eyes open. But I do feel like you're going to be hearing some information about them going down, them getting what's coming to them and you know i don't wish bad on anybody we all pray for everybody but people are going to start getting what they actually deserve not what they want anymore it's like things are not going to go these narcissists way anymore so that, that's over game over they lost okay let's see what's coming in next for you guys you guys have no um now is um not the right time so focus on your purpose make sure that you guys i'm hearing don't take negative matters into your own hands it's different if you guys in court and you're fighting for a case come in professional cool calm and collected speak up for yourself but don't be stubborn at this time don't be still okay focus on walking your path and your purpose okay so be bold be brave focus on what needs to get done the matters at hand okay don't focus on these negative people don't waste your time on them give them to god Believe me, his vengeance is better than anything that we can think of. I know this for a fact. I've seen it so many times. Okay, stay confident. Stand in your purpose. Don't let anybody take you away from what you're here to do. You're here to serve God. And you guys, this is why so much action and movement is in your energy. Keep on moving. Don't let nothing stop you. You may have to tell somebody, no, do it bravely and bold. Be bold about it. Do what's best for you. It's going to trigger this change. You guys have angel number three is, is here. And this is tracks. Like I said, steady movement forward. Yeah, I'm here. Keep on moving. Don't stop. I know that's a song. Anyways, um, autopilot is here. Some of you guys are hopping on a plane. You guys are going somewhere. But this is about movement. Once again, movement is here. This is about going fast. Some of you guys will get on a plane or a train, a bus, 
you'll be driving, but you're getting away from people. You're getting away from those who are distractions. You have a direct route. And this is why your first card came out. What was it about? Let me find it again. Act is here and keep going. Move ahead. Take practical action. Everything in your rider. This is about, some of you guys could be moving. If you don't know the right direction, spirit is saying, just pick. Just pick something that, that feels right. Pray on it, pick, and do what feels right. But traveling is here. You guys are on track with your life. Don't stop. Go to distance. And this might be a one-way ticket. You guys could be moving houses or jobs or careers or something like that. But keep going steady forward. Okay? Do not hold back. All right? Continue to be purpose-driven. I keep hearing that. So you guys are going to go to miles. You're going to go the distance. Love it. Okay. Let's see the advice from Spirit. You guys have temperance here. I love it. Sagittarius energy is here. You guys could be dealing with a Sagittarius. Sagittarius could be in your chart, okay? Or you're being asked to take on this energy of having compassion for others, but at the same time being very spiritual, okay? With temperance being here, temperance always reminds me of earth angels. A lot of you guys are earth angels, okay? Spirit wants you to stay optimistic. Keep believing in yourself. Remind yourself that you can get things done. You can take charge. You can be your own leader. You can be your own hero. You can get it done, okay? Be enthusiastic about your life and what's ahead, even if you don't know what's ahead. Continue to believe and have faith that things will work out very well for you guys, okay? Be responsible. Be very independent at this time. There's this beautiful energy. I'm loving this. A lot of you guys are very funny or witty. Some of you guys need to start something new, a new business. Okay, so be fired up, be inspired, be motivated at this time and be outspoken, speak up when you need to, but don't let people drain your energy because there's a lot of energy vampires around you. You guys already see a snake is here in your midst. Okay, that snake could be a Sagittarius. It doesn't have to be, but um, I feel like you guys have the upper hand if you guys stand in your power. Okay, stay very close to spirit. A lot of you may find out that you're very clairvoyant. You guys have psychic abilities a lot of you guys are empaths use use that knowledge use that spiritual gift or gifts wisely at this time it's going to help you win travelers here as well there's travel here heavy 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 some of you guys could even be like riding horses or so maybe doing some horseback riding or going to the racetracks or something like that but anyways or you have recently but this is time to make progress in your life and not letting anybody hold you down or stop you, okay? No blockages in your way. Scorpio, let's see what's happening with family members and friends and people around you. So conundrums. This is angel number 23. This is the yarn. So somebody could be a really good um, pet owner, meaning somebody loves cats. You guys could own a cat or your family members do, mom or dad or something like this. But somebody is having a lot of issues right now. They're trying to solve their problems. Just remember this. You have to fix yourself. You're not here to fix everybody else. Do not let people drain you of your energy, of your good energy, okay? Because they will. You guys have to use tact and be careful who you help and the energy you lend to other people because you don't always get that back. People need to stand up for themselves and stand in their own power and do for themselves, okay? Everybody's capable. We are capable beings of finding our own strength. So somebody is definitely all tangled up in a lot of problems and drama. You don't want any more conflict. I don't feel like you guys even want to be involved in other people's complicated lives and circumstances. Somebody, you may hear about somebody who got strung along. It could have been you, but I feel like you guys are unraveling out of this nonsense. You guys want away from toxic people, toxic things, beliefs and bad behaviors, negative vibes. You guys are getting away from this. You guys have turned to your spiritual side of having Zen, peace. You're focused on your prosperity and winning. That's exactly what you guys should do. It's okay to offer advice, but don't stay on the phone all day with people who don't plan on listening anyways, okay? Offer what you choose to offer as you choose if you want to get involved, but I'm hearing it's best to stay away. Let these people figure out their own lives for themselves. Everybody needs that me time, that space with them in spirit. They need to do like you and meditate and pray and find very spiritual practices so that they can stand in their strength. You guys are being called to a higher calling, to a higher spiritual level, and, um, you know what they say, new levels, new devils. So a lot of people want to dump their problems on you because you are a great problem solver. But 
you cannot save the world. You know, you're here to just serve your purpose, just like they're here to serve theirs. Make sure you get yours done because you can't walk for these people, okay? You can't talk for these people. People have to learn to stand up for themselves. And this is what you guys have done so well, Scorpio. You guys know how to speak up for yourselves. You guys know how to take charge. You guys know how to get things done and make your visions realized. So this is not a time to just dream. This is a time to make things happen and take um, action on your dream so that they can come true because they will. So let people solve their own problems. It's okay to be helpful to an extent, not to a fault. Okay. Don't let people drag you down. Okay. Stay connected to your solid center. Okay. Center yourself. Your outcome, you guys have um, angel number 35. This is the nine of swords. So yeah, if you let problems and other people's issues consume you, you guys may deal with like a lack of sleep or being distressed. It's time to turn everything negative into a positive. Every negative thought, you can't make it, you can't do it, has to be immediately changed into I can do it. I can do awesome things because you guys are wonderful. You guys are amazing and you're capable of doing various things, achieving your dreams and goals and having better wellness and better health, a better life. Okay. This is beautiful. So this is about strength. When I see the anchor here, this is about standing strong and steady, um, stability, being stable mentally and physically, taking advantage of opportunities, going after your goals, just having the willpower to be persistent and persevere. You can do this. Practice fortitude. Okay. Practice restraint as well. Don't go towards anything toxic. No addictions. This is a different phase, a different time, a different month. For a lot of you, this is a different year for you. Okay? Persevere. Stay solid. You can make it. You're as strong as this anchor. People cannot move you. You choose the steps. It's you and God against the world. So you guys can make it. You guys can do amazing things. Okay? Focus on your security, your stability. You know that you are secure in your values and your beliefs. Stand by them very firm. Stay focused on the prize. Stay creative. Stay energetic. Keep thriving. You deserve happiness. Don't let haters, naysayers, toxic people stop you. All right. Very um, powerful reading. Scorpio. So let's close your reading out with the karmic rewards message i've already pre-pulled this is by the oracle mystique the avatar high priestess shout out to her and her channel love this deck you guys have forgiving your ancestors a lot of you have gone through some hardships some turmoil various challenges to find your worth a lot of you are still on that path keep going on it you will get there and definitely forgive yourself and forgive your ancestors they're asking you to forgive them for the things that they had to pass down onto you so that you guys can break certain toxic patterns in the family. And you will do it. Just remember, do your part. You don't have to do everybody else's. Just do your part. And forgive the people who didn't pave a better way for you. And also be thankful for any good that they did pay for you. Any good that they've done. Anything that they've accomplished. Any gifts that they have passed down. Okay, oftentimes we get gifts from our ancestors as well. Spiritual gifts, physical gifts and blessings as well. So have a heart of gratitude okay definitely have a heart of gratitude and know that you guys can overcome any challenge any obstacle at all times you guys have beautiful spiritual teams that ride for you that are here for you okay don't deny that have faith and you guys will see positive beautiful results but i feel like you guys are in a time of renewal just releasing what you don't need and going forward in life knowing your worth accomplishing more things and having more happiness and peace, you deserve that because you guys are beautiful, terrific beings. Okay, very powerful reading. Scorpio, this has been your reading for the month of August, your 2022. I hope the messages in this reading resonate with all of you or as many of you as humanly possible. I'm sending you guys so much wealth, positive vibes, strength, be encouraged. I'm sending you guys encouragement, luck, and happiness, and of course, abundance. You guys are fantastic, awesome, and amazing. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please remember to like, share, subscribe, and comment. God bless you. Bye, Scorpio.